Ooh. All right, here's the warm up for the solving radical functions notes. Be the, the seventh force. So here's the root. The fourth root of b to the seventh would be the radical form. And then letter b, here's the root five, and here's the exponent two. So this would be c to the two fifths. Here, subtract 1, 2x equal 10, and then divide by 2, so x is 5. If I check that, 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1 is 11, so that answer works. You'll see today that we need to check the answers for radical equations. Let's see if we have extraneous solutions. So here we want to take the square root. So x minus 7 is equal to plus or minus 3 when I take the square root of both sides. And then x equal plus or minus 3 plus 7. So 3 plus 7 or x is negative 3 plus 7. So x is 10 or x is 4. We want to plug them back in. So 10 minus 7 is 3 squared is 9 or if I put a 4 in there 4 minus 3 is negative 3 squared is also 9. So after today, you'll be able to use inverse operations to solve radical functions. The agendas or notes, we didn't do this last time, so we're going to do it this time either. And then the practice. And uh, Wednesday, yesterday was exponents practice on Desmos and also Khan Academy practice. I'm not going to grade those, but... You should do them for practice. And then next week is topic two assessment on Wednesday, October 14th. So on Monday and Tuesday, we'll review. So solving radical equations. Step one is to isolate the radical by doing the inverse operations. And then step two, undo the radical by doing the opposite power on both sides of the equation. Step three, solve the equation for Check for any extraneous solutions. <clears throat> Let, me, uh, Let me get this off of here. Clear that off. Here you want to square both sides. And you have x equal 81. If I check that, square to 81 equal 9. That checks. Number two, you want to add 1 to both sides. So square to x equal negative 3, and then square both sides. x is 9, and you want to check it. Square to 9 minus 1 equal negative 4. 3 minus 1 equal negative 4. 2 does not equal negative 4. So this is extraneous. Or you can write no solution here. Yeah. 
and then here I'm going to subtract 15. So 7 is equal to square root of x and then square both sides. And check it. So 22 equals the square root of 9, 49 plus 15. 7 plus 15. So 22 equals 22. That checks. Here you would have subtract 3. And negative square root of x equal 2 divided by negative 1. And once again here, this doesn't make any sense. Square root of some number equal to negative. Well, let's go ahead and finish that. Let's go ahead and square this. x equal 4. And then you want to check it. 3 minus square root of 4, does that equal 5? 3 minus 2, so 1 does not equal 5. So that one doesn't work. Once again, it's extraneous. There are no solution there. And here. You want to square both sides. So 2x is 36 divided by 2. x is 18. Check it. checks. Here you want to add 4. So cube root of x is 10. Then cube both sides. x is equal to 1000. Check it. <coughs> cube root 1,000 minus 4 equals 6. 10 minus 4 equals 6. This one checks. And then here, subtract 2. So negative 8 is the cube root of x. And then cube both sides. Negative 5, 12, and then check it. Negative 6 equal the cube root of negative 5, 12 plus 2. So negative 6 equal negative 6, it checks. And then cube both sides here. So x minus 1 is negative 64, and add 1, x equal negative 63, check it, true root of negative 63 minus 1, equal negative 4, true root of negative 64 equal negative 4, and that one checks. And then here, square both sides. So x is 16. Check it. 16 to the 1 half oh, equal 4 
this one cube both sides 64 equal 3 and then multiply by 3 192 we'll check it 4 equal 192 over 3 to the 1 third so this will be 64 one third so one ninety two does check here you want to square so x minus one equal forty nine x is fifty so fifty Minus 1 to the 1 half equals 7. X to the 1 fifth equal 1. And then Take both sides of fifth power. X is one, so we'll check it. One to the one fifth plus one. Does that equal two? Yep. So it checks. So we might have time tomorrow to do a quizzes on this. And then the bonus question here. I'm going to square both sides. Whoop. I'm going to square this here. So. You might want to write this down twice so you don't make a mistake. So x minus 2 times x minus 2 would be x squared minus 2x minus 2x plus 4 equal x plus 28 x squared minus 4x plus 4 x plus 28 and then subtract x and subtract 28. So we get x squared minus 5x minus 24 equals 0. <coughs> this and see if it factors so you want the factors of negative 24 when add them together and get a negative 5 would be x minus 8 and x plus 3 so x minus 8 equals 0 or x plus 3 equals 0 x equal 8 or x equal negative 3 hmm. and if I plug a negative 3 in here then I get the square root of something is negative 5 that doesn't work then 8 minus 2 is 6 and 8 plus 28 is 36 square root of uh, 36 is 6. So that one works.
And this just shows you how to work it out again, all typed out. And then a question two here. I'm going to square this and square this. So we got x plus 3 times x plus 3 equal negative 2x minus 6 x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 9 is negative 2x minus 6. Two x and add six. X squared plus eight x plus fifteen equals zero. And then you want the factors up to fifteen that give you an eight or five and three. So x plus five equals zero. Or x plus 3 equals 0. Negative 5 or negative 3. So negative 5 is not going to work. The square root of something is equal to negative 2. That's not going to work. So if you plug a negative 3 and that's a 0 there, it would be 6 minus 6 which is 0 so if that answer works and then on the next slide the answer is typed out So this one this is circled wrong. This one should be circled and this one should be crossed out. So there's a little mistake on this slide there.